Hey guys, it's Fonsky here, and today we're back in Euro Truck Simulator 2, and I'm going to take this Kenworth K100 on a bit of a drive. I'm just going to do a delivery with it. Now, in my last video, I went through all the customization options and everything for this truck, so if you'd like to see that, then click the button that's on your screen right now, and you'll go and see that. And then come back here, obviously. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've actually changed the city that I was in. Um, I'm in Luxembourg now. I was, I can't even remember where I was before, but it, it, my frame rate was just really bad there, and hopefully it's going to be a bit better here. Um, it should be okay when I'm out on the open road though, so... I've already selected the, uh, the job. It's those pressure tanks right there. So, let's go pick them up. My frame rate's actually a lot worse in the cab as well. Which is irritating. I think I'm noticing the bad frame rate a lot more because the last time I played this game... Whoa, track I went a bit nuts there. There we go, gotta be really careful so I don't muck it up too much. But yeah, the last time I played this game was effectively uh, in vanilla settings, like without any mods. Um, that was for the multiplayer mod. And so the game ran just so smoothly then. Like, it is a really well optimized game, and it ran really smoothly in vanilla. But... Back in my single player game, I've got all these mods. And... It doesn't run so well with a shitload of mods installed. Actually, what's the best way of getting out of here? Maybe I should go... Yeah, I should go right out that exit. I didn't even realize that was there. I've also put the Detroit diesel engine back in this. Uh, at the end of the last video, when I customized it, I actually had the CAT engine installed. And I found, because I actually drove this truck here, I found that the turbo whistle just got irritating after a while. I mean, this truck has the same sort of whistle, though. I suppose technically it's a supercharger whistle in this truck, but... It just, yeah, it got, it got old real fast. Um, it's not to say the engine noise is bad or anything like that with the CAT engine. It just didn't really do it for me. Not after a period of time, anyway. I mean, I don't really have a problem with turbo noise or anything like that. Like, my car's turbocharged and it's got plenty of induction noise and all that, and it's all good. But the thing is, when you're driving a your car, you might hear that for, you know, 10 seconds or something at the most. You're driving a truck, when it's loaded up, you can hear it for, like, minutes on end as you're accelerating. And it's just... It got a bit too much for my poor ears. Because I'm... I'm soft. <laughs> uh, so let's turn right here. So we're just going to Paris. It's 290 kilometers away. It's not too far. And I'll just ramble on as we're going there. Might have to shift down getting up here as well. Yeah. Down to eighth. There we go. Alright, on the road. So I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with the news on Eurotruck. There is apparently update 11 coming out at some point. But I haven't actually released a date for it, at least not yet. But it looks like it's going to be a pretty interesting mod. It's actually adding, um, not a mod, an update. It's adding, what is it, three new cities to um, Poland. And it's, I think, I, mean, I saw something. You can check it out on the World of Trucks website or the SCS website. They've got uh, development blogs showing what they've been up to. But yeah, um, they're, they're adding things like sway bar physics to the trailers, which means that it basically makes the trailers, or well, the physics, more customizable or something like that. And they're changing the... Like, they're also allowing you to customize your seat height within the truck, which is kind of interesting. Um, it's not really... T the seat height customization isn't really too useful for me, if I'm honest, because I use track IR. Like, if I just sit up in my chair, you know, I can move around, I can go from left to right. So, 
The the seat changing isn't that useful for me personally, but it's a pretty cool update. And I know the people who don't use track IR, I think they'll find that pretty useful. So that's pretty cool. Um, I've been thinking of downloading and adding a Russian uh, map expansion as well, adding that to my single player profile. Because apparently it works, the one that I'm thinking of works with uh, with Pro Mod as well. So that'd be that'd be really cool. I'd have a I'd have a massive map then, because Pro Mod already adds a fair bit of real estate to the map. I can only imagine how big it would get if Russia was in there as well. I think I'm turning right down here. Come on, K100, you can do it. I don't even know how heavy this load is that I'm carrying. I should have checked that. Uh, what is it? 22 tons. So I've got a 500 horsepower engine uh, in this K100. So it's handling, handling the load pretty well, as you'd expect. I'm just going to cut this guy off and hope he doesn't run into me. Oh, I've run into the fence as well. Not quite what I want. Oh. There we go. Oof. Bit of lag there. Let's get a different camera angle. The camera angle that I always crash in. It's a good looking truck, this. I mean, it's kind of ugly, but... <laughs> It's ugly in a good way, like, it's ugly in a, the sense that it's just designed for a purpose. I mean, get out of this camera angle before I crash. But, I don't know, I think you guys know what I mean, like... There, is, there are some trucks that just kind of look good when you see them. And you, you look at it and it's like, yeah, that's, that's good looking, I like how that looks. There's others where it's like, it's just been, it's obviously been, been designed to do a job. And I think in the same way that kind of looks good as well. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I'm kind of like that about um, the freelancer in Star Citizen. They can talk about a completely different game <laughs> now. But, um, like that, that ship, it's not pretty. Um, I mean, you guys who have seen the freelancer in other videos, or if you've seen some of my Star Citizen videos, it's not, it's not really a pretty ship. Uh, it, looks, it basically looks like a flying dick uh, in its basic configuration. But at the same time, it's it's designed to do a purpose and everything, so it's kind of, it's deliberately ugly, if you know what I mean. And for me that works, I don't know. I know some people can't, just can't stand it, and, you know, they really don't like that sort of mindset, I guess, but whatever. I don't care what people think about my ugly freelancer, I love it. <laughs> and it's kind of the same with this ugly K100. I mean, there's, there's really, there's not much that I don't like about this truck. Um, I covered it in my previous video, the customization one. I don't like some of the interior stuff they've got, but whatever. I really should have shifted down going up that hill. No big deal. So it's handling this load really easily, this truck, actually. It's not the fastest truck going around, um, even with the 550 horsepower cat engine. It's really not the fastest truck, but at the same time, it gets up to speed. It just doesn't get up to the same top speed as some of the other trucks in the game, like some of the Volvos, for example, they'll get up to 130 kilometers per hour with it while they're towing a load. <laughs> this truck won't do that, but it's, it goes plenty fast enough. Might have to slow down for some of these corners, actually. It's tearing up the uh, the French countryside. I do like the AI traffic as well. It's something, it's something I didn't know that I would miss until um, until I checked out the multiplayer mod. Because obviously, there's no AI traffic or anything in the multiplayer mod, and you, I mean, there's plenty. You, you obviously see players and stuff driving past, but I don't know. The world is kind of missing something without all those 
annoying AIs that slow down right in front of you do 40 kilometers per hour around a fucking shallow or gentle bend. Not that gentle bend, I guess, but still. Old mate in front of us, he's too scared of tipping over, I guess. Let's, might have to go down to 12. There we go. And we begin to speed up again. 150 kilometers to go. So it's, not, it's going pretty well this drive. I deliberately chose a um a fairly short drive. I mean, in Euro Truck terms, 300 kilometers is nothing. That's uh, that's a really short job. But I mean, I, I could have done like a one and a half thousand kilometer drive or whatever. But to be honest, those those take a lot of time, and it, you really have to be in the right mindset for it. I think. Like you need to you need to be ready to devote three or four hours just to driving the truck. And I wasn't I wasn't quite feeling up to that today, I've got to be honest. So a nice a nice short drive like this is good. So what else what else to talk about? American truck sim. I haven't really heard a lot about American truck sim recently. Um most of most of the news I've heard from SCS over the last few weeks has been about update 11. And yeah, American Truck Sim, basically radio silence from what I've been able to tell. I haven't gone really digging for information about it, but I think the last thing I really heard about it was they'd posted some screenshots, um, and that might have been a month ago, maybe more. So, I don't know, there's a couple things that could mean, I guess. The first is that they're obviously working really hard on it, which you would kind of expect given that it is a game that they've been, they've started hyping up the game a bit, so you kind of expect them to be working pretty hard on it. They actually made it in there without running into anything, nice. So yeah, they're, they're working hard on it and maybe, maybe, maybe even getting ready for release. I doubt that, to be honest. It's probably not going to be ready for another year or two, but there's no way to know. So that's one possibility. The other possibility is that it's not going well at all, and they've got nothing good. They just don't want to talk about it at all. Um, I think I'd probably prefer the first option, to be honest, but anything's possible when it comes to game development. So, there's, there's a pleasant thought for you. <laughs> but no, I think I think... Probably within within two years we should have that game, I would imagine. Um, maybe even this year. I, I, that would surprise me, though. That would really surprise me, to be honest. But one one can hope. Oh, we're slowing down here. I thought I'd have to get out of this lane and avoid him. Uh, down to 12. Well, at least he saved you from the speed cameras, I guess. So I don't know if they're going to have trucks like this in um, American Truck Sim, like this old K100. It's kind of... I knew there's, there's another one going past there. That's one That's one cool thing about this mod, it does add the truck to the, um, to the passing traffic, the AI traffic. Which, some of the mods do, some of them don't. It's kind of hard to tell, at least from the first glance, like when you're first looking over a mod. It's hard to tell which ones are actually going to add the truck to the AI traffic. Uh, so this one does, which is good. It's nice to see. But yeah, what was I talking about? Right, the K100 in American Truck Sim. No idea if it's going to be in there. It's kind of unusual, this truck, um, in that it's a cab over American truck. Like, it doesn't have the big long nose out in front of it and everything. Kind of unusual from what I've been able to tell anyway. I mean, I'm not I'm not a massive uh, truck enthusiast, despite appearances, like, despite the fact I'm always going on about all these different trucks and shit in this game. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't really go out there and research trucks or anything like that. So maybe there's plenty of others, maybe uh, plenty of other American cab overs that I just haven't heard of. But I don't know. It would be interesting to see how. Um, how like SCS would do one of these trucks instead of the modding community 
because obviously the modding community when they make the trucks you always get the the mod authors like the mod creators individual touches put on the truck well it's pretty obvious in this example when you've got the uh i think that's a russian flag thing there i don't know you've got that you got the cracked window and all that So it'd be kind of interesting to see uh, what SCS would do with this truck. Are you going to pull out? No, you're not. Good AI. Self expecting just to come straight out in front of me there. So, 77 kilometers to go. Not far now. Not far at all. It's good playing this game actually. It's been it's been a fair while since I've played it. Um, I mean, for me, it's kind of a game that I just I jump into every now and then, and I, I play it a fair bit for a time, and then I kind of leave it for a little while. I don't know. I'm like that with a lot of games actually. But this one's always, it's really easy to get back into. Like there's no real learning curve to Euro Truck. Um, as long as you're used to driving simulators, you can you can play Euro Truck. Like, it's, it's really, an, it's an easy game to pick up and learn. Uh, I, know, I know that some people don't like that and they wish that it was far more simulation based, like a, far heavier on the simulation aspects, but I don't know. I can see arguments both ways, really. I know SCS doesn't want this game to be too much like a simulator. They've said that on multiple occasions. So, in terms of gameplay, American Truck Sim is probably going to be... Well, in terms of driving mechanics, I should say, American Truck Sim is probably going to be pretty similar to this, but... I think I do like that it's, it's just easy to pick up this game and get straight back into it. Rather than some really hardcore simulation where you have to remember what 30 different buttons do and all that sort of thing. I've been playing a little bit of uh, DCS lately, but, you know, that super complicated flight sim. So, <laughs> that one's definitely not easy to get into. Not for me, anyway. But that's a, that's a completely different story. Alright, hopefully that's the last toll uh, that we go through. There's always a shitload of tolls on the French roads. I don't know if that's true to real life or not. Never been to France. But I mean, they, they do have plenty of toll roads throughout the rest of Europe, but France definitely has the most of them in terms of this game on it anyway. Uh, come on, K100, you can do it. You're nearly there. You've nearly made it. I don't know if I've been to Paris before, if I've discovered the city or not. I just realised that then. I'm not sure. I probably have, because my starting city on this profile was um, Calais. So I would imagine that I would have gone to France by now, but... Oh, to Paris by now. But maybe I haven't. I don't know. Well, it's been good this drive actually. We've seen uh, a bit of motorway stuff, seen a bit of the uh, the countryside and everything. Because there are some roads, like some routes in this game where you'll just be on a straight motorway for, you know, an hour or something and you miss out on all the country roads. But not so this time. I might have to slow down here. That looks like I might not have been to Paris before. Oh, there you go. Might have to get into the left lane here as well. Uh, the frame rates died again. It's always pretty, 
pretty bad in the cities. At least with all these mods that I've got installed. I mean, I'm running the game in a pretty high graphics setting as well. But I, I do think it's the mods that are causing the big issues. Maybe they use, um, they have more detailed textures or something in the mods than with the vanilla game. I don't know. You can see the uh, the Eiffel Tower. I think that's it. Is that it? No, that's a crane. <laughs> oh god! I really should watch where I'm driving. I don't even know if they have the Eiffel Tower in this. I'd assume they would. Let's see if we can see it. Oh, there it is. It's over there. Oh, we got another Kenworth behind us. Hello there. That's the. Uh, T660, T600, something? I don't know. Oops, that's going green. Don't pull out in front of me, I'm coming through. Good car. Alright, our drop off point is just up ahead. I just put the parking brake on by accident. Looks like we're delivering to a construction site. I don't even know what I'm... Oh, I'm delivering pressure tanks, aren't I? I was going to say, I don't even know what I'm delivering. <laughs> I'd be a terrible truck driver. I think that's something you're probably supposed to know, what you're delivering. Uh, this looks like a pretty easy drop-off. So watch me fail miserably at it. <laughs> it's always the way, isn't it? No, it should be easy actually, I'm just going to turn all the way around and reverse it straight back in. Hopefully that should be straight enough. Uh, that wasn't straight enough. I'm just going to go straight up to the wall here. Because I can't actually see the spot behind me. There it is, now I can. Yeah, I gave myself plenty of room for this, so... I should be able to get it in there okay. I mean, you don't have to be bang on perfect in this either, so that makes it a bit easier. There we go. Nice and easy. Not the best parking job in the world, but it'll do. Cool, let's deliver that. There we go, so nearly 300 kilometers exactly. Cool. Oh, there you go. That is the Kenworth K100 mod. Now there'll be a link in the video description to download this truck if you like it. I think it's pretty cool. It's a nice, it's a nice truck. It's um. Like I said, I'm not sure about the interior, but it's a really cool truck, and it, it drives well as well, which is always nice. And there's no there's no real noticeable bugs or anything in it, because there are some trucks you download, like some mods you get, and they're just plagued with bugs. This doesn't seem to be one of them. So yeah, check it out if you like what you see here. But anyway guys, I'm going to end this video here. So until next time, I've been Vonska, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching. Uh...